typically when I put names into stuff, I my boyfriend does it or my sister or someone else. They said it was going to be like a four hour wait. And I was like, damn, all right, we we'll probably have to go somewhere else. Girl, I got to the front of that line <sighs> in 10 minutes. And then that girl was like, oh, I can teach you guys now. And she goes, I'm a really big fan. Yeah. And I was like, I know that's fucking right, girl. It's, it's important <laughs> to stay humble. Yeah. But it's also important sometimes <laughs> to use it for the greater good of yourself. <laughs> hey, you know what? I get death threats. The least I the can least get you can do is, is cut the line at the Caesar's, Caesar's Palace buffet. buffet. Welcome back to another episode of the comment section show starring me, your fave. Everybody knows me. Who cares about me? <laughs> On to the guest. Today we have the iconic, the legendary, the athletic as hell, Ilona Mar. Woo! Yay! Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have you. I'm so excited to be here. Me too. I'm happy to have you. You know what? I am trying to make it a mission this summer to have more female athletes on my show. As you should, because they're really killing it right yeah, now. Yeah, especially now. Basketball and players. You and I have been mutuals for a minute. Mutuals for a minute. Yeah. I think we've connected over some things online. Yeah, awful just, men. Awful, that's what it was. Love them. I was like, what was it? It was men. I love them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get into that, I, yeah. I, I, I imagine. <laughs> but no, we've been mutuals for a minute. I think we have some of the same um, crossover. viewpoints, crossover. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting. Yeah, Elona is a very successful Olympian. Yeah, I'm pretty chill about it, as you know. Yeah, I'm you're Olympian. real cash. I know. When, before we started, I asked Alona, what have you been doing? She goes, oh, I just went to play in a tournament. I was like, oh, cool. Where? She goes, just Barcelona. Just oh, Madrid. Spain? Madrid. Oh, Madrid. But Sorry. It, yeah, Madrid. Not Barcelona. My, uh, my bad. I do Barcelona. Um, bad. No, yeah. It's it's so crazy because like <laughs> I spend my days around Olympian, so it just doesn't seem like a crazy thing. But I yeah. will say I use that title to get me things. I would hope so. Like you might just, as well. You earned people it. People love it when they learn you're an Olympian. They think it's the <laughs> coolest thing in the world. It is. I but see. That's like I'm around Olympians. That's a normal thing. Yeah, for me, that's true. I feel like Olympian, like being an Olympian, is such a small subset. It is. It's like a almost like a Greek god to people. I feel I like the, the Olympics are like one of the few things that make me go like rah America. Oh, you for, know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. That and that's like one of my <laughs> sticks too. Like when I'm yeah. at the Olympics, I'm like. Like so proud to yeah. be an American, you know, like <laughs> every other day all the way, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, but then once you're there, you're like, we are it. Yeah, we are better at sports than everybody. Because that's. <laughs> but what's crazy about America too is we're so focused on the Olympics. Like for us, it's get a medal at the Olympics or you suck. Yeah. It's like you didn't get a gold. Oh, ooh, ooh you, yeah, bummer. But that's just our culture of just. I think so too. Oh, well, boy. and. A lot of plays rugby, rugby which yes. we did not mention, and that is badass in and of itself. Thank Olympics you. Olympics or no Olympics. Thank you so much. I'd love to know your your lore, your genesis. How long have you been playing rugby? How did you get started? Yeah. So rugby is one of those where it's kind of a niche sport, but yeah. I, I was always an athlete. I would play like field hockey, basketball, softball, then decided to try out rugby senior year of high school. Oh, nice. Um, and I kind of say it just fit my body like a glove. I tried it out and just immediately it worked for me. And I mm -hmm. think I was always – I've always played these sports where – you were kind of told to tone it down or pulled back and feel like, yeah, my coach will tell the story of me like trying to run through girls to get to the ball. And so <laughs> to find rugby, a sport like that, that actually yeah. like, praised my, my body, my size, and to find a community of people who really loved it. I mean, it was just, it, it changed my life and it changed me for the better. Yeah. And um, I've been playing now for 10 years rugby, but I've been playing Dang. on the USA team for six years. Look at you, bitch. Yeah. Did you go to college to play? I did. I went to Quinnipiac University in Connecticut. Nice. And did nursing there as well. Because I wasn't, no one, I don't think many female athletes ever think like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a career out of sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not like an NFL player. Well, it's never player. encouraged never nearly encouraged. as much as it is for no. men, yeah. And it's not like you're going to go to the NFL and retire with millions. So <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. have to almost think of a backup plan. So I went wanting to be a doctor, be a nurse, and then it just worked out that rugby clicked and it kept working and I kept, you know, striving. Nice. Are you glad to not be in nursing now? Very glad. Now yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked out really well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I still love that I did it. And I think yeah. it was like... Well, being a nurse is different kind of hard. So that's different kind of hard. Different kind of hard. You're doing two very nearly impossible things at the same time. Yes. So. I, I'm so happy I found like... You, have you heard of like the butterfly effect thing? Yeah, yeah. But it just feels like my butterfly effect of like just making one change to try out rugby and then my whole life is different and now I'm on this show, you know? Yeah, totally. Look at you. Look at me now. I really circle. made it. <laughs> <laughs> really made it. Yeah, when I was a, a kid, I well, I grew up playing sports too. I, I played soccer my whole life. Mm-hmm. Which looking at me, they're like, really? Because um, they're like basketball, volleyball, right? Yeah. Never actually. I'm really bad at basketball. Mm. Um, volleyball, I did love, but I didn't play till high school. So I played soccer. I was like on a real path. 
mm-hmm. but then I um, tore everything in my oh, left knee my you. freshman year of high school. That'll get you. And that was my butterfly effect. Because, like, when that happened, I was like, damn, I don't think I could play this forever. <laughs> I should start developing other skills. Yeah. Because I already liked school, so I was like, what am I going to do? Because I'm a Virgo. What's your sign? Leo. Okay. And I think I am a classic Leo is what I've been told. What what month? August. Okay. What August day? 12th. Okay. 12th. Okay. 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 I don't know what it means, but I know I just, a couple. I know. Do you know your big three? I don't know that. I just know Damn, like the look one thing about Leo. Me getting nosy immediately. We'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, when I tore everything in my knee and I started like thinking, what am I going to do after school? I decided to do like journalism, like sports broadcasting, got fired from the NFL. And now Oof. I annoy men for a living. Oof. So look at that. Butterfly effects. It's beautiful. Now we're I love that. I love that. <laughs> That's crazy. All roads lead to the same end point. Yeah. Now I wonder, like, how did you get your personality? Like, <laughs> you know, as a good thing, you know? And because that's my thing, too, is I have such a personality. Yeah, totally. Like, for me, I like to say, and it's probably different for you, but, like, I grew up kind of the bigger girl. Oh, totally. I was always the sports girl. So mm-hmm. you almost had to develop something else. <laughs> and so I had to develop, like, a sense of humor. And that was, like, how I became this. So people oh, are just, yeah. like always question how I am like this on TikTok. I'm, this is just me. Yeah, totally. It's 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 a very interesting like comment to get because I know like exactly what you're talking about when they're like, oh, like how did you turn out this way? I honestly don't know. I don't know. Like, God, I guess. The yeah. universe, whatever you believe in. Yeah. Um, no, I've been I've been a mean bitch for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> for a very long time. I've yeah, been yeah, in a yeah. very bad mood. Um, uh, but I have been large and in charge for yeah. too. I was like, I hit a growth spurt. Well, I was always big. Like, I was a big-ass baby, too. Yeah. Do you know, uh, like, how heavy you were when you were born? I don't. I think eight, eight something. Yeah, I was nine pounds, 12 ounces. I was a big-ass baby. Big baby. So, like, and I had a big-ass head. And then and I remember Bless I... You. Good luck to your mom. Bless <laughs> yeah, you, sir. for real. Thank you for doing that. I know, because my mom is so teeny tiny. And yeah. my dad, my dad's 6'6", six, six, so my dad's a big Oof. dude. Yeah, my dad's a big man. So, it's funny, because my sister was the only one who came out normal size. Like, yeah. she was, like, seven pounds or, like, eight pounds or something. And then I was 9, 12, and then my brother was 10, 12. Oh, my goodness. So we just got bigger and bigger Oh, and bigger. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. And uh, my sister's the shortest out of the three of yeah. us, so I guess that pans out. But your sisters are tall, too. So I'm actually the shortest out of my sisters. How tall are you? I'm 5'9 okay. and 3 quarters. If you round up, it's 5'10. <laughs> um, but they're like 5'11 or something like that. And I, I actually do think I loved coffee from an early age. You know that? myth that coffee makes you shorter yeah, yeah i was drinking coffee real young really i loved well with cream sugar so i was like was it coffee yeah it was a milkshake <laughs> just milk with a um bit of it was, yeah but i so i think that <laughs> genuinely coffee might have made me short you think but i'm really athletic i guess so it worked out but you they're they're athletic too they're athletic too girl but i'm also the athlete uh you know but i'm like mean? better at no no they're <laughs> they're actually super athletic i'm yeah. the only one of us who tried out rugby okay and because they they did like softball and shot put, whatever. And I was the one who like Olivia was done softball, and did we used you to do, do so- together. Did you do shot put? No, y'all did shot put. My so youngest did, did shot put. I did shot put did with my show? sister. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my sister played rugby too, which you already know. Yeah. But uh, uh, we did shot put my sister senior year, my junior year, because my mom was always like, "You need to be in a sport every season." Oh, that's our our. Yeah. Family so too, we yeah. did volleyball, then we did soccer, and then yeah. she was like, "You need something in the spring." So we did track, and then. I was like, oh, well, I'm not fucking running because I run all the time playing my other sports. So then I we joined throwing. So we did shot put and discus and we both made varsity. Don't know how. Yeah. Probably. I mean, there wasn't many of us. Yeah, there yeah, wasn't yeah. any women that would try out. They're like the big girls put her out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, our coach used to, he literally would separate us because we were both on varsity and we'd both like obviously stand together and, you know, do bits the whole practice. Yeah. Me course. just workshopping a tight five the yeah. whole time. <laughs> and then he's like, one time he was literally like, the two of you are being separated. I need to separate the giggle twins. That's what he called us. And it turns out you were right. Yeah. <laughs> look at the giggle twins now. Yeah. like And look at us now, Mr. Tucker. Yeah. That was his yeah. name. Sorry, Coach Tucker. Sorry if you ever see this. My bad. Yeah. We love you. <laughs> I, did, I didn't love shot put, though. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, a big fan. You know what? My younger sister is like, so she just does whatever she wants. Olivia and I were like, Nicole. whatever whatever you want, dad. Like, should we play <laughs> softball? Okay, you want us to go to softball pitching clinics on a Sunday morning? Of course. Whereas John was like, that doesn't sound like for me. I don't want to go she to She said that doesn't sound like my journey personally. She's, I'm going to do this instead. And I'm like, hey, John also was like the only one of us who would like drink in high school. Like, I don't think people realize Olivia and I were socially awkward. Oh, gotcha. We grew up, I graduated in a class of nine from, uh, middle school nine really? people nine a catholic school where'd you go <laughs> Burlington, vermont 
Not oh, much okay. going on. Okay. Nine people. They were all my brothers and sisters, so I was like socially awkward. Oh, okay. But Adriana was the cool one. Like she would drink with her friends. I think she once <laughs> filled a, a vodka bottle with like some water or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's okay with sharing that that's story. Young, that's youngest sibling <laughs> shit. Because my little brother gets away with everything too. They're just so cool. Yeah. Me How do they do it? Me and my sister were not like that. We were very much like soldiers, like oh following orders. Gosh. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Yeah. We were very like anything you need. Anything you need. <laughs> yeah. No, that's us. Not the youngest. <laughs> they do what they want. Yeah. It's impressive. It's impressive. Yeah, I, I um when I was in high school and we were throwing and stuff, I remember like we used to dick around all the time and our coach used to be like, you know, if you just take it a little bit serious like my sister got a scholarship to a like a D three school, I think. Because she only threw for like four months and they mm-hmm. were like, We need her on the team because she uh I think she set a record in our high school. And I think it's wow. still there to this day. I'm actually on that list too, by the way. Okay. If anyone wants to look it up, don't. It's embarrassing. Yeah. But um, <laughs> my sister got a, a, a scholarship offer, and she was like, "Nah," because she already got to the got into the University of Oregon, and that's where she started playing rugby. I know. I heard that. And she encouraged me. She she was like, "You should try it too," and I was like, "Nah." Yeah. <laughs> she was like, "Why?" I was like, "I hate. I physically like, or me personally, I hate being touched by like anybody really." Uh, outside of like especially strangers yeah so i was like and there's a lot of touching a lot of touching in rugby you're close yeah. you're right in each other's faces <laughs> how was it when you were learning how to play rugby well was it, like difficult compared to the other sports you played i don't i don't think so i've always had like a mind of an athlete i guess i yeah. could always pick up and probably you like you you could go to a sport and be like okay i kind of understand totally. the little bits how it gets yeah it. like because you have the athletic yeah team, you yeah. understand like field awareness and even when i play sports now i just don't understand people who don't get sports <laughs> like even playing what's a spike ball the i'm like you this is your first time <laughs> you know it's just i don't get it that's me my sister when we play volleyball yeah i try not to take it too seriously oh yeah but then if you start doing bad i'm like okay well, why don't you sit down and you watch us play i genuinely like <laughs> cannot do things that are competitive <laughs> i have to chill out i'm like well what do we well, play volleyball with like just narps you know what you call yeah, them? i'm yeah. like just chill out we're just having fun here <laughs> and i can't i can't care i even sometimes just don't play that's so funny that's my mom and my boyfriend too is actually because my boyfriend played uh football for a really long time yeah played college football and he's very competitive too so there are certain things like they're not allowed like you're not allowed to play because no. you take it too seriously yeah yeah like dodgeball is one that he's banned from. Oh man, you're not allowed to play dodgeball. Sometimes, one time, someone asked me in a thing, in a Q and A on Instagram, they were like, "If you had to play dodgeball against men, like who would you want to add on your team? Like who would you want on your team?" Yeah. And I said, "Just Billy by himself. I wouldn't even play. I'd just sit on the sideline and watch him." He, the way his prey drive gets activated during yeah. dodgeball, I don't know what the fuck that is. Is he playing dodgeball a lot still? Where is he doing this? No, it's just <laughs> like, it's the, it's the, uh, it's literally just the opportunity Him to in throw. men's league. <laughs> it's like to throw a projectile at someone yeah, is yeah, like his yeah. favorite thing in the world. I, hey. I don't get we it. We all got to get our anger on someone. Yeah, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's hey. just like pure joy, which is honestly mm-hmm. kind of scary, isn't it? He just enjoys doing we that. We all have our, our ways. <laughs> Respect to him. But I think that's I think that's cool that you're honest about your own. Maybe I shouldn't participate. Well, it's like, first <laughs> off, you're in such a competitive environment in your sport. Yeah. You just don't want to bring it into other things you do. <laughs> and we'll do, like, trivia nights on our team. And I just, this growing need to win. <laughs> the, the teammates and I just... I step back. I Are start dancing like in the corner. I is, can't. <laughs> you just remove yourself. Oh, some everybody's yelling at everybody. And I'm like, this these game rights are for connection. I don't feel connected <laughs> to these bitches. No, I hate I'm actually them. angry. I hate I them. Hate, why are you yelling so much? <laughs> okay. Like it's just I I get so angry. So now I've had to actually I'm it's a genuine problem on my team with game nights. I can't do game nights. Or I just I have to sit in the corner. I have to just be the helper now. Because oh. I just can't put up with yeah, it. Yeah, you're like the cashier on Monopoly. I je- I really <laughs> they don't am. let you play. No, I, like, I just help and I go there when we're doing like scavenger hunts and I'm like, you did it. <laughs> Next task. You're like the narrator I in can't. all the games. Uh, well, that's good that you know. I do. You yeah. Know. My Ooh. mom is so competitive too. Like my mom almost killed me once when we were go-karting. Oh, so we're not allowed to go-kart as a family anymore. Smart. Because my mom literally almost killed me like on purpose. And then she tells me now, like to this day, like even now she's like, it was an accident. And it wasn't. An right, accident. mom. It's because that nine pounds, huh? Yeah, it's literally, it's literally, she, again, pray drive. Like, she yeah. just can't. She just can't. Like, she can't help it. And even even sometimes my mom will be like, I can't play that because I'll get a little You got to know. You got to know for your own, like, mental I know. Well-being. You got to, like, be honest with yourself. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think maybe, I think you're right, though, about you continuously being an athlete, like, as a career. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that just fosters it. 
Because I stopped being an athlete a long time ago, so I was able to put it down. Yep. But even then, like, it still flares up in me sometimes. Oh, and some people who don't, because I have the outlet. Some people who don't have the outlet. Yeah. When they're playing their adult leagues, (laughs) they're going crazy with kickball because they need it. (laughs) They need something. Yeah. Yeah, they do, like, kickball. What do they do? Softball. Softball. When I first started dating my boyfriend, he was in an adult softball league. For what? And you were like, that's him. That's uh, yeah, I was I like, for for what? He's lobbing these balls. Yeah, You're he's like, like, you can Ugh. come and watch me play. And I was like, could I? <laughs> Do I have to? God, that's all right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he said it, he just enjoyed doing it because he. No, plays yeah, it's, I think I truly think, and I'm trying to get my sisters into it. Like, you guys should try one of those adult leagues. You can meet people. They love they love hanging out. What about a run club? Olivia's like, I got to train for that. Oh, I, I can't club? be doing that. Do you like running? I don't like running. Me either. But I've seen some run clubs have hot people. Okay. T. Um, and so I might try a run club just because of that. I did go to a run club <laughs> recently. I'm looking into it. And yeah, I went to one recently. Okay. And it's fun also talking about the Olympian title because you walk to a yeah. run club and you're like, <laughs> you guys just, you just here to run? Do oh, you have the Olympian I run too, but I ran at the Olympics. God, I was running so much in Tokyo. Speaking of Tokyo. Do you been there? <laughs> I went, I went there. Oh, has anyone here been to Tokyo? No. Oh. Oh. So I do. Um, I, that's, a, I think the only reason I would do the sports later on is maybe to pull out the Olympian title sometimes. Yeah. I'm playing kickball. Like, oh guys, it's Olympian coming up. I did wham it. the hell out wham of Wham it. As if I was like a veteran. Oh, I you know used to I, mean? I used to I'd so come much. in my uniform to Duncan and I'd be like, oh. oh, you'll give them free coffee, but not me, huh? Yeah. We're all serving the country. 100%. I was out. We went to Cabo after the last Olympics. Nice. And we went to this bar. Have you ever been to Cabo? It's like a bar called yeah, Squid Row that no, everybody never... goes to. Oh, okay. I've but after the Tokyo Olympics, they had Olympic rings everywhere. Okay. And I was like, sir, I just went to the Olympics. Can I come in? He yeah. couldn't care less. I'm like, sir, those rings there? I just did that. <laughs> you still want me to pay 20 bucks? Yeah. This a is Cabo. For an Olympian? Yeah. Please. So I still take it out wherever I can. Yeah. Have to. Doesn't, Might as well. Doesn't get me a lot. Uh, even sometimes like me being like a dickhead online. Uh, whenever I meet people that are like fans of my content, I'm like, that's so great. Um, how come nobody's ever fans of me when I want to like skip a line? Yeah. You know what I mean? Skip a line, get a free meal. Never. No, no one, no one recognizes me. I ever. don't know if you've <laughs> figured this out, but I really thought I would get like more like free dinners. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that was my goal. Like getting, I'm not even famous, but like yeah. slightly famous. I was like, <laughs> Hopefully these chefs want me to come to restaurants and try their food for free. <laughs> it's not working yet. I'm, that's I think that would be like the epitome of fame is just like coming in. They start bringing out food for you. Oh, I don't yeah. want any other any other reason for fame, but just oh, like a yeah. free appetizer. Oh, you know what's so funny is that's when I feel the power of the platform too. Because oh. I I went to the yeah. You know, have you ever been to the Caesar's Palace buffet in Vegas? No. Oh, girl, I went one, the first time I ever went, I like went, um, I was in Vegas for like work stuff and I went with my sister, my boyfriend and our cousin Adam and we went super late and you're supposed to have a reservation for like fucking, I don't even know, like weeks in advance or something. And so I went and I put my, typically when I put names into stuff, I, my boyfriend does it or my sister or someone else outside of me, or I use my middle name or something, Mm -hmm. but I put my first and last name and my boyfriend's like, are you putting your name in there? I was like, no, yeah, yeah, let me do it. And I was like, there's a lot of workers in there. Odds are one of those one women of is going to know yeah. me. And then they said it was going to be like a four hour wait. And I was like, damn. All right. We probably have to go somewhere else. Girl, I got to the front of that line <sighs> in 10 minutes. And then that girl that. was like, oh, I can teach you guys now. And she goes, I'm a really big fan. Yeah. And I was like, I know that's fucking right, girl. It's, it's important <laughs> to stay humble. Yeah. But it's also important sometimes <laughs> to use it for the greater good of yourself. <laughs> hey, you know what? I get death threats. The least I the can least get you can is, do is cut the line at the Caesar's, Caesar's Palace buffet. buffet. All right, for sure. Let let me have that one. Yeah, thing. jeez, Louise. <laughs> that's actually a really good point. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a small price to pay. Yeah, actually, I'm getting bullied not. online constantly. I should get a free appetizer. No, for real. Let's get into that's it. You know, say. you know. That reminds me. Of some of your content I remember that was like taking off was when you I think it was when you were at the Olympics mm-hmm. in Tokyo when you were talking about the Olympic Village yeah living in the Olympic Village and you were also talking about trying to find a boyfriend while you were there so <laughs> yeah 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 I don't stop that honestly um, <laughs> but that's what I remember my brand. when your concert was like really yeah going everywhere well I just I almost feel like it was a business mindset people love seeing single people do things and they loved the that's idea too, that yeah. these hot athletes are in the village and they're doing stuff. Just pent up with and sexual pent, frustration. So much sexual frustration. Mm-hmm. And they're all hot. Mm-hmm. And these cardboard beds. And you can't do it on the beds. So I was like, there's something to be done here. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I just made some TikToks about it. Um, and got known as like the thirsty Olympian. I was like. 
Okay, um, well, well, that's a mean nickname to give me. Okay, I'll take it, but like, <laughs> that all kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I like. Well, I wanted to flirt with one Romanian volleyball player. Okay, um, <laughs> but it was like just a tool to use. Like, it is true. You're in the Olympic Village. Yeah. The hottest people are in the the hottest, fittest people in the world. There, mm-hmm. there's of course flirting going on. It was different in COVID, so I am excited to hopefully go to Paris and be actually get, get to exp- some. Get, well, hundred percent, get mm-hmm. some. No. But I, I guess they give out condoms, and that's the thing. Do it's they like really? they didn't give it out in Why Tokyo. Why teach you guys like you're at summer camp? It's like literally a big summer camp. <laughs> it's a crazy time. Like, aren't we all adults? I, I think so. I do think they so. hall monitor you guys? Do they like do I bed think checks? They do no, they don't do that. But I no? don't think you're allowed to go into like USA. You can't go into like the yeah, like other, other countries, house, other countries' houses. Yeah, well that makes sense. But I don't. It wasn't a full Olympics, so I'm actually excited to just like get to meet these other Olympians and gotcha. experience full Olympics because usually you get to stay in the village, you get to meet people there different like houses you can go to and party at but at the last tokyo it was like all right you just lost your dreams are just crushed okay get out of here yeah have fun on go that. have depression have somewhere fun on else that coach flight back home yeah bitch. literally literally it was <laughs> they very downgrade sad. Your wife. <laughs> oh it was so sad so i'm hoping to actually get to experience an olympics that's cool that's sick honestly and you know what i have one story with an olympian and everyone on here is gonna be like you told that story i don't give a fuck alona <laughs> hasn't heard it so i'm gonna tell alona okay, sure. anyways i met an olympian once when i was in college at a bar <sighs> And he was, and the only reason I knew he was an Olympian was because he told me, but it was like two guys and they were um, hitting on me and my friend, of which of course you're going, oh my God, that's so funny. I don't know how I love that joke. That's so funny, but I'm yeah. so thirsty. Oh, I can't listen if I don't have a drink. Uh. And so they uh, bought me and my friend's drinks and then we were drinking and they were telling me what they were there for. They were like, oh, we're on vacation like before training for the Olympics. And I was like, the Olympics? They're like, oh, yeah, we're both swimmers. Like, they were both swimmers. One was from New Zealand, one was from Australia. Mm. And we were like, okay, the tallest man I've ever seen in my fucking life. The way they were built like the Iron Giant is crazy. And they, the, like, you know, they're, they're so like it's like a triangle and then their legs are skinny yeah Yeah, a little little spooky but i was listening obviously because of the free drinks and then he was like i was when he told us he was they were olympians he was like well i've only medaled at bronze but like he's won like several golds and i was like okay (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) okay and they were like no it's true and i was like well i could just say things too i could also stand here and tell you i'm an olympian i'm not yeah and uh they were so upset that i was like not believing them that the guy googled himself in the in the club while we were in there on wikipedia and was showing me pictures of himself yeah and i was like yeah that's you all right well and then you (laughs) left (laughs) and then you never talked to them again yeah no and yeah then i was like well i have to go to the bathroom they never saw me again after that yeah but uh hope you're doing well actually i don't he's a terrible person but Um. (laughs) Actually, I hope you're doing poorly right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but well, I that remember, is the thing, did, then. Do you have the Olympic rings tattooed? I don't. I just I just wear a little uh, n- necklace here. Okay. Um, the Olympics was a crazy time in that I lost the quarterfinals, mm. put it all on myself. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Blame myself for it. Um, and then... It's a there's something called like post Olympic blues, yeah. Where that Michael Phelps has a documentary about it, but you get very sad because it's like this one moment you've prepared for your whole life, well, yeah, and I it's can only imagine. amazing, right? And then yeah. if you, even if you don't medal or if you do medal, it like you come crashing down. It's like all right, see ya. Maybe in four years you can get it, do it again. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So mm-hmm. it's a very stressful thing, and even now I'm so stressed out thinking about the next this Olympics coming up because yeah. we want a medal, we want a medal for our country, for our team. It would mean so much. So. It's like psyching yourself up to be heartbroken mm. um, and to do that all over again. And I don't want to do it again, but like have that that pure devastation that I felt. But then yeah. also it's just that trade off of, you know, what you get to do. Yeah. Well, it's just who you are. You're an athlete and you, yeah. you, you're a rugby player. So it's like it's part of your fiber at this point. So it's like it's it's worth the the risk. It's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. Uh, it's it's so hard. But then you also become like such a. I think better athlete, better person because of it. Yeah. I'm curious how your athletic career has like intersected with online. Cause obviously you have a, a large online presence mm-hmm. now too, because of your content as being an athlete. Mm-hmm. So like, what was that like when you first started documenting your journey as an athlete? Yeah, I think, well, as we're talking about, I just have maybe the personality for it mm-hmm. and it just worked out for me in that way. But I started before the Olympics and, um, I remember I was just doing some videos in when mm-hmm. we were in Spain for a tournament 
in Estefania. Um, <laughs> and I was doing some videos in our hotel room and I remember I was seeing the reaction to it and people were getting really excited. And I had like got like 5,000 followers in a, in a short amount of time. And then I was at that tournament and some guy came up to me and was like, oh, you're the TikTok girl. And that was when I was like, wow, that's really crazy how powerful that is. Yeah, like how, how quickly it how happens. How quickly it is mm -hmm. and how it can spread like that. So I kept doing the TikToks. And then at the Olympics, I was really aware that people are made at the Olympics. Simone Biles, Michael Phelps, like yeah. they were made there. And that's not, not made, but like that's where the world knew them. Yeah, found, came to know them. Yeah. yeah. And I knew I wasn't going to mean the best. <laughs> you know, I'm not the best. I'm a very good rugby player. I'm not the best rugby player. And it's a sport also that not many people are watching. So I didn't knew that. I was going to say, I think you're being a little too harsh on yourself even now. I'm, I think it's just the popularity of the sport more than anything. For, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. Um, so <laughs> I knew that, but I knew that I had something that people didn't. And I think, you know, you know, you feel yeah. as well, like a personality and an ability to say what I'm feeling and not feel like cringed about it or awkward totally. or judged for it. Totally. Yeah. So in the village, I was, you know, saying all these things. And so that's why I got the term as a Thursday Olympian because I was saying this stuff and you're on just saying regret. everything. Every, everyone else Regretting is too now. scared to say. Yeah, I'm too scared. <laughs> but I was like, no, nobody wants to say because they're Olympians. You know, you people hold us up on a platform thing. Yeah. We're just the we're, you know, indestructible and we have to stay focused at the games. But you practice for, you know, three hours a day and then you have all this time in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, as a female athlete, I don't get paid a lot. Yeah. So we always want sponsorships. But you have to I've learned now you have to have something for these companies that is a value. Yeah. Just past just being a winner. Yes. Yeah. And that's like really tough. And in a sport like rugby, you, companies yeah, are like who I play in. I play one stop in L.A. and that's it. Yeah. I'm in Dubai. And so it's like, do you want to be on my jersey in <laughs> Singapore? <laughs> and people in Singapore will buy your product. Like, yeah, it's you had to have another way. So I just found that the TikTok and going doing the TikToks has become uh, another job for me yeah. and it allows me to play rugby and focus on rugby because um and as female athletes a lot of us have second jobs yeah. and have to do more so it's been really cool and people always ask me oh you know do you do you wish you didn't have to do it or do you wish you you know do you want to not like do TikTok it or yeah, like yeah like tiktok social media well i would i love to just play rugby and then make millions 100 <laughs> percent. that'd be awesome yeah. you know buy a house but it's just not yeah. a thing for female athletes so yeah, i have right to do now. it right not right now and, mm -hmm. and not in rugby um so i have to do it yeah and i just think it's important so i just people are like oh does it take away from your rugby well maybe it takes away a little bit i don't think it does yeah but i think it's just I, something i have to do i think more than anything it's just it's another form of representation because you know women so often aren't revered in the world of sports the same way that men are mm -hmm. and now this year has been like a renaissance because of the wnba but like past that like you know like the u.s women's soccer team has way more golds than the men's does yeah and like no one gives a fuck like that's like it's it's one of those things where you having a platform has it gives other women who want to be athletes too mm -hmm. like the perspective because they're like okay i can be an athlete too yeah. and also turn it into a career because being an athlete for anyone however you identify is not forever because no. your body is not going to no. carry you for that long so the important thing is to turn it into something else and yeah. you've already started doing that so if anything you're just better than everybody just kind of a mogul yeah there you go i guess like perfect i guess is the word i don't know god i don't know just a money maker <laughs> like a business owner, I, I guess just like unstoppable i don't know whatever words that's your words not mine <laughs> whatever whatever but i think that's i think it's a wonderful thing i think women getting to see you not just like being an athlete but being a professional athlete mm -hmm. and performing at the highest level which is the olympics mm -hmm. is like a huge thing for for young girls who want to play want to play sports want to play want to get out there want to play rugby specifically that's a hard ass fucking sport hard sport my <laughs> body hurts what's what what's the hate been like when you first started when did you first start noticing getting hate and um what did it look like you know and i think you it's like so it's constant now but it's just something I don't even seem to notice at times. Sometimes it'll Me. spark up. <laughs> yeah. It never stops. I just get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost <laughs> like just the constant replay. You yeah. still realize. But um, yeah. I think it was like a one comment here or there. And then you're you just, okay, it's interesting. You can post another video, another comment here. So, of course, my the hate that I get is being called a man, being called masculine. because uh, Oh, my gosh. <laughs> because of how big I am, because of my size. And it's like. I could be the most random video of me like doing so like even wearing a dress, doing something so casual. And they're like, yeah. is that a man? I'm like, come, come on. <laughs> that's uh, not what your dad said, but it's just, that's what I made a joke about that. <laughs> when, Cause I, when I was first doing TikTok, when I first started, 
I made a joke on TikTok because I was like, all these like, you, the, you know, these young boys or these kids, whoever yeah. it is, are like, is that a man? I'm like, your dad doesn't think so. <laughs> I can 100% think your dad does not think yeah, that. Yeah, and they're like, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, well, I was real light when your dad picked me up. You yeah. throw me all over the place, girl. <laughs> Shit. Ask it, him. He knows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I made a TikTok about that because I just thought it was so crazy. But I also know that it's just these people that are going. It's like these kids going through their phone and they're like, okay, hold on. Okay, she's like really muscular. Okay, you look like a man. Sweet, next yeah. one. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's literally so like you flippant, look yeah. this way. Okay, I'm gonna like it. Just is the same stuff. Yeah, it's boring. New it content. Gets real, it Please, gets real boring uh, after a while. It is. I know. Sometimes people are like, because when I was like fucking people up every goddamn day yeah, for business. like two years straight. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, you don't do that as much anymore. I'm like, bitch, I'm bored. Yeah. First of all, I'm busy, but also I'm bored. Like, it's the same They're shit. They're going like, to keep oh. doing it. Yeah, I was like, it, there's only so many ways I can make fun of someone being bald. Like, if I, I, it's okay. And I was like, at this point, at this point, I when I do fuck men up, like, it's got to be a joke that I'm like, that is so funny. Yeah. I have to say it. Um, other than that, it's just the same shit. Like, they don't get any more creative. It's just fat, no. ugly. You're fat, you're ugly. You're fat, you're ugly. You're fat, you're ugly. And thousands of different variations. Yeah. Like, that's just what they tell me over and over again. It's, so I'm like, I'm bored. It's insane. And it's just, like, some videos, it just floods my comments. Yeah. And so when I was first starting, I was, I do okay with it. Um, and it's, like, crazy because I'll get, you know, hot, like, 20,000 comments of girlies and other, I mean, even other men being like, you're so hot, you're beautiful, I love you. And then it's <laughs> one dude from, like, Idaho who's like, uh, are you a dude? And I'm like, yeah, for real. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's got me. And I'm bawling my eyes out. But it's like <laughs> that sort of stuff. I think it's hard. And I'm coming to terms with it. And I'm getting so much better. at Now it doesn't really yeah. affect me. Yeah. I think what affects me is like they're doing it to me. And I know they're doing it to other girls. Yeah. Who don't have the following that I do. It's like who have, you know, 12 likes. And then some guy goes in their videos and, and says something, something like that. Mm -hmm. And if you said that to like young alone. Because, I mean, you probably did this. Growing up, I always got it. Mm -hmm. I always got these the comments about my shoulders, about how big I was in high school. And it, it did affect me. Yeah. And it was like, I remember like distinctly in gym class once, or it was like we were in the gym and some guy was like, you're pretty masculine. And I was like, what? what? Cause I didn't understand it. Cause I never felt that way. I yeah. felt very feminine. I felt very much in a different way. So that took me back. Mm -hmm. And so now it's like, please say it to me. Fine. Yeah. Say it to me. But you're saying it to the other girls who haven't gotten to that level. That really, pisses me off yeah that's that's tea honestly that's true and i and i obviously i was a i was a big bitch too growing up so i i was like five four when i was 10 so i was yeah I, yeah yeah i was honestly ominously big like as a child <laughs> like as a, like looking back i'm like i'd be a little afraid of me too yeah, <laughs> like yeah, if i saw yeah. it I'd be like damn yeah shit um and then when i was going into eighth grade i i grew four inches so oh, i was man. five eight when yeah. i was 13 12 13 Oof. so like i was i was a big boy yeah, from yeah, a, yeah. a young age and yeah. i I hated being tall. I hated being yeah. tall like forever for yeah. so long. I hated it. I wished every day I would be smaller. I was like, oh, I wish I was smaller. I wish I was shorter. I wish I was, you know what I mean? Like I used to think that all the time and that was mostly because I was still unpacking my male validation. So like, oh, yeah. you know, my need for it and my internalized misogyny and I was unpacking it. So I was thinking like, I have to be smaller. I have to be more, more feminine, whatever that looks like yeah. um, in order for men to like me. Um, but my outward reaction was always violent. Like I was really? always angry. Like even if men said mean shit to me, I was mean as fuck back. And really? then I would go home and I would be sad if I was sad Dude. about it. Cause I was just so like, um, I was just a real swing first kind of girl. Mm. Um, and so when men would be like, Oh, you're a little masculine. I'd be like, you goddamn right. I'm fucking masculine. Yeah. And then I would be sad about it privately. That's, That's just how great. I handled it. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. I don't think I would do that. I don't think I was ever <laughs> like that. I wish I was. I do. I, I had a few times like men had told me like when I was in high school, like they would say things like, I would like you if you were shorter than me. Ugh. I'd like you if you were smaller than me. And I'm like, well, I'm not. And you're a bitch. Yeah. And then I'd be like, yeah, you fucking said I was too tall. I Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's I love being crazy. tall. Easy. I love it too. It's a yeah. certain power. I have you ever been around people who are like taller than you? Not like women. I'm like, what are you doing up there? Yeah, it's very this rare. This is kind of my thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> very rare. I'm like, damn, bitch, you're tall like um, me. That's I what I always say. I don't saying. really like. I don't. I just feel. I get like this. I'm like, I see him. I'm said? like, brother, <laughs> you and me. <laughs> I just. I love it. I love walking into a bar. Like I love wearing heels, walking into me a bar, too. like being able to see what's up. Yeah. Looking overhead. Totally. Who's there. Yeah. Assessing the room, surveying. Yeah. Yeah. That's my. That's my my lot in life too, and my. Boyfriend now he's way taller than me, so I'm oh. I'm six feet, but my boyfriend's six four. So, look, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So when we walk around, like we're both very big people yeah. too. So 
Uh, now I'm like, now I really love it. But at the time, I, I didn't like it at all when I was a yeah. kid. I really hated it, which is like natural, I feel natural. like, because especially when as women, too, because we're always taught that like smaller and mm -hmm. less in whatever that looks like, whether it's personality, physically, financially, successfully, like all of it needs to be less than men. Yeah. In order for us to be taken seriously by men, which makes no sense. Yeah. So I'm glad that you don't feel that way anymore. Well, it's I mean, it's a constant journey. I yeah, think, totally. Too. Um, and I have never like been in a relationship or anything like that. I've never had a boyfriend. Mm. So it has been like my own, like really personally trying to figure that out. And I think rugby really helped me with that too. Totally. It's like a weird transactional thing sometimes with these dudes. Yeah. Like, and I just not into that. Yeah. And I'd rather have a conversation see you feel it out. But I remember feel this it. guy, I didn't even talk to the whole night was like, all right, we going, you going back to mine. I'm like, what? I have to where? Do you even know my name? Yeah, to kill you. I'll kill you in your own yeah, home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. I'm like, first off, safety, my guy. <laughs> yeah, Second, I'm heading home. Yeah. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's very... When I was in college, I because I wasn't playing sports, I was like a sports reporter for a while. I worked mm -hmm. in sports media and everything the whole time I was in college. And I used to interview athletes a lot. And I would have to do like one-on-one -on -one interviews with them and stuff. So I spent a lot of time in the like journalist area of that, of interviewing athletes, going mm -hmm. to like post-game pressers, like all that stuff. And so sometimes when I would like date athletes and if I would ask them a question, like, a, like you said, just standard small talk, like, where are you from? Yeah. Right. Something really simple. The way they would answer it, like it was a fucking post game presser question. Yeah. I'll freak out. He's like, well, you know, just got to go back and check the tape and then we'll get better next game. What the fuck are you, you talking like about? I asked you what your favorite yeah. color was. What are you talking about? Why are you talking to me? Like we're on ESPN. It's crazy. Can you like make normal conversation or is uh. this just kind of where it ends? It's just and football. It's just it's just <laughs> that, and I think with especially with sports, and I why I've done been su like successful, and what I say to other girls is, what do women have that a lot of men don't have? Personality. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's what like women athletes bring to the table a lot. Totally. We're absolutely. seeing with like Angel Reese, all these athletes, yeah, the absolutely. personality they have and what they bring is such so of value, and yeah. <clears throat> people really connect with it. Absolutely. And I just want whenever my teammates are like and or athletes in the space will always ask me what they can do to be better and they want to because they want to do this and they want to get sponsorships I'm like you just got to say stuff online yeah you got to show your personality online totally. that's that's the only thing i know yeah what sets you apart yeah because obviously if you're on a team with other people who have made it to that level you're all like wonderful athletes. yes you're all in all tip -top great shape. you're all fantastic yep. but like what's something else you have that mm -hmm. can set you apart from everyone especially especially like you said in this industry now where like professional male sports are like revered in a much different way than women yeah. are. So women uh, constantly have to juggle so many things at the same time. Yeah. So now that so many female athletes are also developing like careers, like in entertainment, I think is fucking awesome. And I, you're one of them. I think that's badass. Cause then it's like you, you're, you're doing two things that you love at the same time, but you can turn what you love, your passion, which is your sport into mm -hmm. your actual career. You can like pivot so yeah. easily into that once you don't want to play anymore. And that's like, you, the thought of making sports a career is something girls didn't think of. So yeah, that's totally. why I'm thinking of it. And I have some teammates who are going to retire soon and they're just going to go into the workforce. Yeah. And it's like, was it a fever dream? Yeah. I was totally. just traveling the world to go into Dubai and Cape Town and then you just kind of go back to normal life. So that's where I just, I, people always ask me, oh, you want to get back into nursing? And if like, well, if I have to, yeah, I'll do yeah. it. But I would love to see what I can do with this and with sports. Absolutely. And because there's so many different avenues now, especially when you, because entertainment and media is so closely intertwined with sports now mm -hmm. there's so many different ways you can go like men do it all the time they pivot into commentary or they become sideline yeah. reporters or correspondents of some kind or they go and they like mentor or they mm -hmm. do talks or they work with kids like there's a whole yeah. slew of options i think people just don't know that's why again your representation on social media is so important because women can see that there's a career mm -hmm. even after sports like well after a fulfilling yeah. career and i think too like this happened to like my dad my dad went to the nfl like obviously my boyfriend played forever like my whole family we've all been athletes so after you're done it's like there's like this like almost rebirth you go through where you're kind of like okay what the fuck do i do uh -oh. now <laughs> like what do i do now like i don't know what to do and sometimes especially with men who dedicate all of this time or women who dedicate all of this time and money to the sport and then you don't do it anymore yeah it gets to a point where you're kind of like i don't even know like who I am without the sport. I'm scared. I don't know who I am. Mostly I'm scared though cuz I don't know how to eat without sports. <laughs> and I see what like what you don't have to eat as much when you're not running miles a day. Yeah. 
I eat like three eggs. My, yeah. <clears throat> my old sister will eat one egg. I'm like, are you going to be okay the rest of the day? <laughs> Do you have enough protein? That's not enough protein. Like, there's yeah. only like seven grams of protein in that <laughs> egg. She's like, chill. Yeah. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. That was a new, that was an a, adaptive thing is. for me though. Like, it is. Yeah. Cause you eat so different when you play all yeah. the fucking time. Well, this is actually a really good transition because we're going to go into our topic for today. Right. Perfect. Kind of, but not really, which is uh, terrible men on the internet who think female professional athletes aren't feminine enough mm. for them. And that's just basically men being threatened by strong women, for sure. which by the way, your comment about the shoulders, I've gotten that too. I, I don't know if this is controversial. I love big shoulders. I yeah. love I love a cut back bitch like big traps. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like the rock and black Adam from behind. That's what oh, I'm trying yeah. to look like. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like his traps were okay. so okay. big, okay. bitch. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that suit, they're sticking out like he yeah. has a scoop neck. I on. have some nice traps. I'll show you. Later I know. I've seen them. Thank I've clocked them, bitch. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm a huge fan of traps on yeah. my Are you kidding me? It's like so a cut, powerful. A cut back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's the I shit know. I'm in. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm all about. I don't like I and I feel like a lot of women, especially when it comes to any sort of fitness too, a lot of stuff is geared towards women. It's all lower body stuff. Oh, it's yeah. all like, oh, big butt, like small stomach. Okay, yeah. cool. If that's your vibes, that's great. I think that's great. Uh, mine's I want in just an uh, I want to be muscle bob buff pants For up top. Sure. You know what I mean? I wow. want to be like so like like Angela Bassett in Wakanda Forever. Oh, I know. Yeah, in yeah. the very beginning very of Wakanda nice. Forever, when she walks into that UN meeting, mm -hmm. bitch, the way she's like, Ugh, yeah, and oiled up, yeah, 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 that's the yeah, type yeah, of shit yeah. I'm trying to be on. You know what I mean? So I think that's a compliment. When mm -hmm. men tell me I have huge shoulders, I'm like, you goddamn right, I do, bitch. I've been working on that. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, so this first video I'm gonna read. This says, this is a video that shows a clip from a rugby match featuring player Portia Woodman doing a run and pushing defenders off her with the caption, you do not want a 1v1 with this woman. And then the comments are all from men, so they're not nice, <laughs> to say the least. This one says, a regular guy is enough to defeat this player. A regular guy. What does that People mean? People always say that to me, too. I'll be, like, yeah. posting a video of me tackling, or I post a video of if somebody, if a man hits me, who are you calling? And I have all my teammates. And everyone in the comments were like, I could take them all on. You could take on a full team of us rugby girls? You think? You think? <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> I'm coming at you from one end. She's coming at you from the other. I'm, you know, it's like, that's just you not even right. Girl, the, the are you out of your mind? they have. And it's Portia Woodman, who she, she plays for New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Iconic, legendary, best mm -hmm. player. Um, it's just not, like, no. None, and I don't even think any of the guys in the seventh circuit would say that. No. And you know what's funny is they would never say that in general because they recognize that she's also a very talented yeah. athlete. Like the, this fucking exhausting conversation that regular ass men who work at fucking AutoZone want to yeah. have. And they're like, I could, if you gave me like a week, I could probably take her. Yeah. I could do it. One on one be Caitlin Clark. I got it. Oh, don't piss me off. <laughs> don't make me, you're making me fucking mad. That's why I was like, it, it's funny too, because men were like, well, who the fuck are you to say I couldn't? I'm just as qualified as you, bitch. Yeah, Not yeah, at yeah. all. Not at all. Not at all. And you don't see yeah. me saying that, do you? No. You don't see me going, yeah, just give me a second. I could take Caitlin Clark. I could take Alona in a match. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah. I'm good. That's why overzealous confidence is really easy when you're like never going to be challenged. Yeah. I'm like, we could have this fake conversation all day long, but you're at home. Yeah. And she's at the Olympics. So what the fuck are we talking about? Two plus two equals four. No, for like, real. I'm like, together. okay, and apples are orange. Like, wh what the fuck are we even saying? None of it makes any sense. Exactly. Like, that's why I was like, we're just sitting here uh, writing fan fiction. Yeah. They're like, well, if I was playing against you, It's the not. scenario in their head that puts them to sleep, you know? I know. That's the stories they tell themselves. I listen to their screams. That, that puts me to sleep <laughs> really easily. It's a one handoff. Does that now constitute greatness in women's rugby? <laughs> I don't know what that means. One hand. So off. it's like stiff arm. She's stiff arm. Oh, somebody. stiff arm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's like, yeah, actually, if you <laughs> see the way she stiff arms people, yeah. it's actually really great. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes. Thank you. For Any other questions? That question. Yeah. Great, <laughs> great comment. Questions? Thank you. Yeah. Also, I think stiff arming is one of the most humiliating things to happen oh, to anybody. For sure. That happens to me. Um. I'll tell you what I do. I stand up. I walk off. I quit. Oh yeah. That's what I do personally. So oh, it's, when people it's get stiff, I'm like, thing, like yeah. in the face too. Like when they, that's what you aim when for, they like yeah. mush your face like oh. that. There's a, I, I stiff arm people a lot. And so I posted a picture recently of a stiff arming girl 
And then a girl stiff on me in the face. I still tackled her, but she got to my face. And then I tackled her. But she, they got the one shot of me getting stiffed on my face. She posted it. I was like, well. <laughs> I mean, she did it. She got me. So I posted <laughs> another one. It's okay. Whatever. I also did that. You know so. what? Respect. <laughs> like, girl, you got it. I was high on that. But it is, it is a, it's like the one thing I can do. People like step, step. They're really fast. I just try to go through people. Period. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, with rugby, especially, that's like the whole point. Well, and because I'm 200 pounds, so I'm like, you know, plowing them over. Like, I'm the biggest girl out there. Why, why am I going to go around you? <laughs> that doesn't make That's sense. too much running. I'm just going to run through. Mass through mass or something like that <laughs> is what they say. Yeah, dude, that stiff arm shit, that would humble me quickly. Oh, it does. Pack me up swiftly, bitch. Yeah. If she, if she mushes my face, hey. Got to rethink my career choice. Don't know if this See is you guys, me. you take off your, your yeah, I'm like, cleats well, and everything. Yeah, I'm like, well, this has been great. Thanks, guys. Um, it's okay. I'll fly myself home. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Can we have a sub? Yeah. <laughs> I actually think I got hurt. I, actually, my stomach hurts. I have to go ah, to the locker room. Uh, Tears in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never... Uh, has anything embarrassing ever happened to you when you were For playing? sure. Like, <laughs> um, I can't think now, but like... Recently, I tackled another girl who's my size really well, and mm -hmm. I've got like you know comments on that. And I just knew when I tackled her after the game, I was like, "Sorry, dog. I know you're coming for me later." <laughs> <laughs> because no. we're so big, we don't get tackled like that often. It was a straight up tackle where I took her down. Okay. And because you just don't usually get that happen to you, but she for some reason came into me, and mm -hmm. we're size, we're the same size, and it just yeah. worked out that I you're not gonna bump me off, so I tackled her. So I was like, "Hey, man, I know that's coming for me. Please just be <laughs> respectful <laughs> afterwards." <laughs> yeah. Help me up off the ground if you could. No hard feelings. No player. hard feelings. You know, I know karma's <laughs> coming, but uh, rugby is one of those where it's like you don't have time to be embarrassed. You you could get stiff armed. You get this. You just got to be like, okay, back up. The yeah. plays, especially with sevens too, it's just so fast yeah. moving. Honestly, I'm shocked. Like that's what was shocking because my sister played rugby for a long time, and I was like, my sister was. We joke all the time. My sister was born nervous. Like she's <laughs> just always like. <laughs> about yeah. everything but she thrived in rugby she thrived in rugby she loved Isn't it not crazy yeah it's it's uh, crazy how like it seems so opposite like you would think i would be super into rugby because i'm so fucking confrontational yeah but i was like nah i'm good well that's what's special i do that all rugby. the time yeah so. <laughs> what's special about rugby is like the, the people who are joining rugby mm -hmm. you would not expect it no seriously in college I, when i looked around it's like the people who you know they want to go they're studying mm -hmm. they're great students and they've yeah. tried they've never played a sport in their life and they decide to play this tackle yeah sport? that's yeah what made you do i love it like <laughs> yeah. thank you for coming out but what made you want to do that yeah and some of my sister's rugby friends too are like power lifters too oh uh, yeah so they're strong, strong. as hell strong. you bitches are crazy why? Why? i think i'm like why do you want to do that <laughs> terrible. lift heavy shit like uh, that or just and just play rugby it's like a lot <laughs> it's very tough that's so many things yeah. at once they're better than me. That's why I think men who are like, I could easily take. Stop. Yeah. Stop right there. How tall are you again? Yeah. Stop right yeah. there. You wouldn't even qualify for the team. Yeah. You'd be like one of those guys who gets discharged early because you have asthma. You know what I mean? Yeah. One time I, the one time I tried out for a water sport with my sister was for water polo. Yeah. Hey, stupid. Hate that. Seems Hate that sport. Learn pretty quickly. I can hard. only swim leisurely. Uh, but I, uh, we literally to start before you even get to the water polo park, they make you swim like I don't even know how many fucking laps. Yeah. It was like four, and up and down is one. Uh -uh. An Olympic size swimming pool, girl. I'm and I'm so tall, by the way. I just started walking, and I was oh. just moving my <laughs> arms, and they were like, "Don't walk, don't walk." And then I was thinking to myself, they can't tell I'm walking as if I'm not standing. You're standing straight, straight up. up. Your head's just like above yeah, the water. Yeah. And then guess what they did? Sent me home early. They and said, hey, like, try again next so year, much. bitch. Yeah. No, and then I got really sick because I drank way too much pool water. Eesh. So found out pretty quickly, not the not the sport for me. So yeah, it's a hard sport. Me and Dace were like, what a stupid sport. <laughs> I, I hate, hate that ball. sport. Fuck that fucking it's sport. So, it's not even why do they do that. Yeah, and it's because I'm typically good at every sport, but yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. fuck oh, that. Oh, man. Water, have you ever played water polo? I, no, I couldn't. <laughs> I don't, you got to tread water that whole time while being Girl, cold on? that no. shit's, ex and you, and yeah. you get mushed, your face gets oh, mushed no. in that sport too. No. I'm not a big fan of sports they where scratch. they mush me. Yeah. They pull you down. They'll, they'll like, Put their hand on top of your head yeah. and like use you as a fucking no. leverage. I can barely breathe in air, you know, <laughs> like not in a pool. They call it an egg beater when you're doing that little thing. Yeah, that yeah, keeps yeah, you yeah. Above the, w I'm good. No. Hey, get out of my face! I'm no. not doing that. No fucking way. Do. Okay, this next uh, video. This says this video is from the account Rugby Pass. It's a fan cam style edit of the Australia Rugby Women's Sevens team with the caption "Taking Sevens Rugby by Storm." 
Um, and in the comments, we're very angry about it. This one says, it's so painful to watch any women play sport. Play sport? That's funny. Play sport. Okay. Play sport. <laughs> girl, girl, play sport. Oh, so painful. I hate watching women who are better than me. It's something I wish I could do. You don't have to watch uh, it. Don't watch it. Honestly, when you're a hater, everything's painful to watch. Ugh. Don't you I think? I hate it. I think it's some angry. Yeah, like when I'm a fucking when I'm on some hater shit, mm. everything bothers me. Yeah, I'm like, look at him just standing there Ugh. being nice to me, and the I'm a hater. Worst. I'm like, I think most men, if they admitted they were haters, their life would probably be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one says, pretty sure no one watches because of their abilities. So I. Okay, so he's saying they they watch because women are hot. I'm assuming. First off, yeah, we are hot. Yeah. Second. And uh, that's not and what they say, is it, when they watch m women dominate? No. They, that's not, that's actually the opposite of what they thank say. Thank you. <laughs> 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 so but it's like, and that's what them, something that I'm really passionate about is like being able to bring that femininity into sports. Mm -hmm. And because these guys that just believe, oh, you're wearing makeup to play rugby. Well, you can't, there's no way you're good at rugby. Actually, the best rugby players in the world has a full beat on. Yeah, girl. And she's the out fuck? there killing it. And there's like athletes like Flojo. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Shakari oh. Richardson who have nails, lashes, hair, like all that full be like fastest you, woman in the world yeah is foundation making you slower yeah. <laughs> you, you it doesn't allow you to pass when you got a mascara on like girl i know that's why i was like some men when they make comments about especially about makeup in like the gym when they're playing sport like yeah what do you give a fuck what do you care well i i will say like when i you know younger i think because it just of like how you know society told you whenever girls would wear a full i remember in college well it was a little crazy she was wearing like full makeup and when you're in the scrum it kind of gets messed up so i was always like Okay. And she would wear like a, a it would be a white jersey, so it would be like the Makeup foundation everywhere. everywhere. So I was like, She's That's so me. Kind of different. She's so me, Cody. Yeah. I'm like, all right, girlfriend, like do it. But I never really understood it. But now I think I respect it and I love seeing girls like I wear lipstick when I play, seeing girls put a full face on because it's like this idea that you've have to if you play sports you have to kind of sacrifice your femininity yeah, if just like, be a you know masculine out there. I'm yeah. like, no, you can be I can tackle her and also have a beautiful lip on. And wear a fucking lily a lash. A lip. Yeah, and I'll have my Ardell Wispies done, glued to my you know? fucking eyes. And what of it? What of it? I think that's even better. I think it's I think it's great, too, because even when men comment on makeup, I'm like, some of you men need to learn how to use some makeup. Yeah. Maybe you should get into it, girl. It's like, okay. You can cover that. Yeah. You, you yeah, yeah. If you really wanted to, you could. You if you really that. wanted to. Yeah. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Okay, this last one says men's team with braids i'm assuming you're saying they're all men yeah classic and they have braids whoa <laughs> okay yeah that was a good one that was funny <laughs> i i giggled that's why sometimes i think when they write that i feel like i imagine them typing it out and being like that's crazy and what's that so crazy that. is like <laughs> obviously not big dog look at them <laughs> didn't you just say that they're women so you don't respect them as athletes what you fucking man yeah which is it pick one i'm getting the the messaging is it, we're getting mixed signals yeah because they're like they only watch because women are hot and then they're like you're not hot you're a man i'm so confused you need to sort something else out and yet you're, you're still and you have something you got to <laughs> figure out i'm like and through all of that you're still unemployed so yeah. what are we doing here what exactly are we talking about? Who are you really mad at? It's tough. <laughs> yeah. it's tough for them. What would you say has been like the most rewarding thing from being able to uh, platform your athletic career and also kind of spin it into a social career too? I think it's what I've been able to do for like girls and their own body confidence, their yeah. own uh, self image. Because I would have loved to have somebody, I think like this when I was totally. growing up, somebody with this build, with these shoulders and, um, who still feels, you know, very feminine, wears a dress and doesn't feel like I have to hide my shoulders. Like recently I just had one of my teammates, she was like covering her shoulders and I was like, why? She's like, oh, you know, I just don't really like showing my shoulders. Like, you have the most beautiful shoulders ever. They're so big, Good. and but it's still happening. Yeah. And so for me, it's trying to show these girls that you can be all those things. And it's like, totally. my, my thing is, is that this is not changing. Mm -hmm. These shoulders are not getting smaller. This body's not getting any smaller. It's just, mm -hmm. I'm not going to change. And it's like, yeah. I think we're taught, oh, if you're skinnier, if you're this, you're that, it's going to be better for you. But yeah. you have to sometimes just accept it. Like, yeah. that's your body. That's what you're working with. And know what it can do and what it's capable of. Yeah. And hopefully just helping these girls to do that because 
rugby helped me. Yeah. And so if like, I like to say it's like a confidence pyramid scheme. <laughs> uh, my teammate Naya was always very helpful with me. She's yeah. a, she's a, like a tall, bigger girl as well. And I just remember her really helping me with my confidence. And then I've trickled down to help two other people with their confidence. Love. And then hopefully two other people can, you know, so it's like this big thing that's I'm running. That's the MLM this that you're running? This big scheme I got going on. <laughs> um, so that's, I think, what's been, because I've gotten a lot of lovely messages from girls who are like, I see, you know, you that's my body type to see what you're doing. I, I just totally. need a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think it's it's another testament to how Eurocentric beauty standards have been inflicted on all of us and not everybody is supposed to look a certain way. Oh, yeah. And what's beautiful to one person may not be beautiful to the next. So for any man to ever say that women are just inherently ugly because they don't look like one specific person yeah. is a fallacy. It's it's like, it's fucking stupid, but past that, it's just objectively not true. Because yes. like, not everybody finds the same people attractive. So when they tried to impose these really harsh beauty standards on women, especially about their bodies, mm -hmm. it makes no fucking sense. Because first of all, all of the men who do that shit are under six feet. They're not even doing the bare mm -hmm. minimum of what they're supposed to look like, which yeah. is be taller than me. Yeah. And you're not. So and like, and I will say with that too, I think sometimes look, men are the worst. But there's there are some <laughs> men we got to give credit. I think we're just told that men only like this one thing. But I mean, as you found, you have an amazing boyfriend mm -hmm. who loves you as you are. There's mm -hmm. men that are gonna like you like that, and there's men that are attracted to that. Yeah. And this idea that oh no, men only like the skinny. Exactly. I'm yeah. Like in my experience, like that's not true. Well, the men who are like that are fucking awful. That's what you I'm saying. You don't want them, girl. That's I was like that Venn diagram's a circle. Like don't worry yeah. about them. Like there are many other men who don't give a fuck about shit like that. And it's like, or they find it sexy and yes, they find it hot. Like they're exactly. attracted to it. That's why I, I said it's not the same for everyone. So it's when men try to say same. this, they try to say blanket shit like oh men hate that. Well, no, not all men. It's you, not true. You hate that, and I hate you, so it's fine. Yeah, it's the same thing when men are like, "I would never fuck you." Okay, same. Fucking twin. What I'm the glad fuck? Glad we're on the same page. What there. are we arguing? Let's dap up. Also, it turns out we have a lot more in common than you yeah. think, huh? <laughs> it's. I just, also find you ugly, so it's just it works out. Like, <laughs> I just hate that lie that they're told. You know, like, oh, they don't like the big shoulders, don't like this. No, it's actually not true. I mm -hmm. found many, many like that, many, many like bigger women. So it's just like yeah. these girls. And that's why I just kind of try to share that as well. Totally. That, that you Look, girl, that's what you're working with. <laughs> you got to accept it because pe people will love it. But yeah. if you don't love yourself or accept yourself totally. in a way, it'll actually totally. get in the way of that. Absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've told people before because they're like, oh, I wish I had your confidence. I've told people you do. You just yeah. got to give yourself permission to use it. Yeah. I, I gave myself permission a long mm -hmm. fucking time ago and it's worked out for me. So. I highly suggest all of you do it. Like, it's just, it's yeah. you're the only person standing in the way of that. Yeah. And never let men who are ugly and unemployed make you believe that you're ugly because it's not true. Yeah. And, like, have a support <laughs> system. Ha don't listen to them. Listen to, like, the real people. Like Absolutely. Your, my sisters I listen to. My teammates like I real listen life, to. Like, real life people, like, yeah. Like, who see you? You know, Absolutely. these men are like, oh, you look like a man. And then I go to the the men on this, like, the, my buddies on the men's team or the buddies, my buddies on the circuit. And I'm like... Because one time I, these comments are really getting me mm. and I made a video about it and I went up to and we were out after a tournament. And I was like talking to this one guy that I know, like attractive, very attractive man. I was mm. like, you know, they're saying this. And he's like, I've literally never thought that about you. <laughs> like and, and then I talked to some other guys. It's like, no, I've never thought that. No, of course like, not. It's just like, OK, here are these real life people yeah. who are hotter and more successful than everybody. I can guarantee. And what they believe. Yeah. Well, and it's also it's just a testament to like a lot of times it's a projection. So men feel like either they couldn't get you or they feel like you have something they don't have, which is a successful career as yeah. an athlete, successful career online. Like it's all a big yeah. projection. That's all it is. Jealousy. It's just man. jealousy. Yeah. And then honestly, sometimes they do want to fuck you. And that's been the case for me. Scary. That's all I was like. That Sorry, line dog. is razor thin bitch between love oh, and hate. So, so I was tough. like the way some, and some men, like when they really talk shit on me lately, they've been really on some shit about, Ugh. Uh, about me. I, they were saying like some shit about like, I'm scamming people. They're like, Oh, Drew's a scammer. Because she, turns out, she has a boyfriend. Huh? And also, why are you guys acting like you're breaking the Watergate scandal, bitch? Yeah. Like, the bitches in my comments know I have a man. What the fuck? Scamming them that you hate on? Like, I'm scamming w single women. Oh. Because I tell people to die alone and, like, to be single forever, which I've literally never said. Yeah. And then they're like, and then women buy into it. And turns out, she's married. I'm not even married, so I don't know where they got that. And I was like... Okay, the only person getting taken advantage of in my business is awful men. Yeah. Because they can't stop saying awful shit about me, and then my career just continues to flourish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone is being used. Uh, it's just not women who love it's me. It's for sure. <laughs> 
that's and then my sisters do whenever i get those mean comments they're like awesome keep commenting thank you for helping that boosting that that's post. what i'm saying i love it absolutely and that's why i was like sometimes they'll be like why is this on my for you page i'm like, well now that you commented i'll see you again bitch yeah i'll <laughs> see you next time gotcha i'll see you in a little bit when you send me another hate yep. comment gonna be you. there again <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. I'm uh, so happy that you came on the show. I'm grateful to have you as a representation as a, a very successful female athlete. But also, I'm happy to have had you on the show. You're amazing. Thank you so much. You're so great. I do want to ask you one last question, <clears throat> though. Uh, what would you say is your best piece of advice for any young girl who maybe is, like, an athlete now or wants to pursue being an athlete but maybe a little intimidated when it comes to how men may perceive them, especially when you're so successful in a physical sport? Mm. Number one, fuck men. Mm, period. I've learned. Um, <laughs> number two, I think I almost go back to the support system and like mm. how and having people around you, having a team like that, rugby changed my life. Yeah, it made me accept my personality, accept my size. I remember coming on my first rugby pitch and they called me like the big girl, and I was like, oh, I am the big girl, and that's actually really respected Love. there. Yeah. Um, three, I think it's important for women to find out what how what their body is capable of because a lot of times as women we're just our bodies are almost there to be objectified like Mm -hmm. by the media by what it is and and just to be looked at and i think doing a sport and finding out what your body's capable of and it's not just something for people to judge and to dissect yeah is really important so take this these sports as a way to see that your body can do so much more totally whether it's like golf or um pickleball (laughs) or lift a weight yeah just take really be in your body because that is your body Mm -hmm. that's your personality that's who you are Mm -hmm. and i guess learn to whether it's love whether it's accept yeah um just get to know it period i love that thank you so much for the wonderful (laughs) advice and for being amazing also if you're looking for a man now's the time do you have any crushes that you wanna you wanna shout out? Want to be bold? <sighs> I I wish I did. I need to like go get on. I try to tell my like I go to my friends like y'all know anybody I got a DM? <laughs> anybody I should hit up? Any- <laughs> I don't I don't know anybody. I don't I haven't DM'd anybody. Girl, use that blue check know, mark till I the wheels you. fall off, bitch. But I I was just telling my sister that the other day because my sister is in the is in the market for a WNBA wife. If anyone is interested, let me know. Um, go ahead and slide in my inbox and I'll pass you off. Yeah yeah yeah. If you pass my test. Um, but also I, slide in hers if you're interested in me. Yeah, and, and, and Alona as well. I'll use that as well. Please. But that's why I was telling my sister, I'm like, dude, the way I would, if I was single, I'd be abusing the hell out of that thing. Yeah. I'd just be DMing anyone that, uh, hey, you want me? I, yeah, check yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm sending a quick survey your way. If you could, uh, I need Do to use it Do you want me? More. Yes or no? I need to use it more. I just have not, even, I, well, to. we were joking about it. Like at the Olympics, I genuinely thought, I was like, there's going to be so many athletes in my DMs after this. <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting them off nothing. <laughs> so I just gotta get on it. Sometimes and they're really a little sometimes they're a little nervy though. They they well, maybe they get and a little nervy. personality thing. So I yeah. gotta keep making the first move. Ugh. Ugh. I will though. Yeah. But no, I'll see what I can do. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna put in some work. I think. Okay, um if you're uh, do you like athletes? Do you like anyone in particular? Any any box? At this point, just, just like <laughs> just getting up there so as long as you're not you awful if you can like have a conversation and you're just not awful, and maybe like art can laugh at a joke yeah slide it's not such a bummer slide that's in. all straight women's standards. are you intellectual can have you... you killed anybody in the last year okay. all right you're for me <laughs> i love you let's go on a date yeah see you at the cheesecake factory i think that if you are interested in alona let me know <laughs> um if y'all would rather reach out to me that's fine i'll play yeah. telephone um, but I'm rooting for you. Thank you so much. Maybe you'll find your love in uh, Tokyo. Um, Paris. Paris. Hello. Okay. I tried Tokyo. That Paris. Yeah. I'm really just hoping. You said I tried Tokyo. It didn't work there. It didn't work. Um, <laughs> I'll you'll try again. Yeah, Paris. But most the city of love. I know. Uh, okay, period, Alana. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't work. Um, we're going to see, though. Fingers crossed, everyone. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're rooting a for a medal and a man. Medal and a man. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> That's Dude, I'm gonna use that. I'd love that. Thank uh, you. Yeah, make that you that's your new thing for Paris. New new series, Metal in a Man. There you go. <laughs> oh Thank love you it. so much for coming on the show. I adore you. You're amazing. Thank you. I'm so wishing much for all the me. success and I'm a root for your metal and your man. And thank you all for joining us in this episode of the Comment Section Show. Where can everybody find you, Miss Alona? Um, I am on the, all the apps uh, at Elona Mar, I L O N A M A H E R. Period. And like other things, I don't know. What do I do? TikTok, Instagram. All of the things. I, yeah. She's an athlete. I'm full there. Time. 
I'm a dickhead on the internet full time and she's an athlete full time. Yes. And then sometimes <laughs> I say funny things. Yeah. <laughs> well, make sure y'all go follow Alone on everything and make sure you follow her journey when she goes to Paris, which I'm rooting for. Woohoo! And thank you all so much for joining us on this week's episode. Don't forget new episodes of the comment section drop every Wednesday. You can stream the audio on all streaming platforms or you can watch the video exclusively and for free on our favorite platform, Spotify. Thank you so much to my guest, Alona. Thank you all so much for joining us and I'll see you next week. Bye!